What's going on guys? This is just going to be a quick video to show the updates for the inside bar indicator. I've combined all three of mine into one, so it's a bit easier to use now. If you haven't seen my last video on how the offset works, I recommend watching it. I'll link it right now. And just want to mention that this indicator, alongside any others of mine, are available on my Discord and are 100% free, so make sure you check them out. With that being said, let's get into it. So for the first update, uh, we are now able to add an offset using ticks. So in this example, you have one candle that is one tick above the previous candle. Now, if you want to color that in using just your tick offset, you can change that to one and it will color it in. The next feature is your number three flash alert. What this does is once the candle closes and it is an inside bar, it will color the screen green over the candle. And you also have a choice to have a volume alert. Uh, here you can select whatever audio file you want. Uh, you can make your own, you can select anything that comes with Ninja Trader. And again, once the candle closes as an inside bar, it's gonna sound uh, whatever alert you choose there. So let's run through that. We have that selected. And that's basically all it is. And for the final feature, we are able to keep tracking the current inside bars using the market analyzer. And I'm gonna show you how to set that up. So first go to your control center, new market analyzer. And let's get that out of the way. You'll get something that looks similar to this. Here you wanna enter your instrument name. So using the yes. From here you want to right click columns and you want to add your indicator. From here, you scroll all the way down to your trade simple folder and select your trade simple inside bar combo. The first step to setting this up is you want to select the same offset you have for your chart indicator. You want to have the same one here so it it matches up. And then you want to make sure you select your market analyzer. The next step is you want to make sure you're on the right time frame. So if you're on the five minute time frame like I am now, you want to make sure you select your five minute. And then the last step is you want to go to your cell condition, add a condition. And you want to change this equals to one. The way this market analyzer indicator works is it plots a one or a zero. Uh, a one when it detects an inside bar and a zero when it is not. So what I'm telling it to do is once the value is one or there's an inside bar, you can color your background. And here you can select anything. Um, I like to do, I guess, hot pink. And uh, the foreground is the number that's gonna show up. I don't like to see that, I just want the box. So I change that to transparent. You can pick whatever you want. And then we click apply. You come out here and you'll see a box out here. And you can push play. As long as it's an inside bar, this box is going to be pink. And let's speed this up. And as soon as it's not an inside bar, it's no longer pink. And that's basically how that works. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it or found this indicator useful, make sure you give a thumbs up. If you never want to miss out on future indicators or updates, consider subscribing and joining the Discord. It is completely free. But 
that is all for now. See you in the next one. Take care.